up you guys so welcome back to my channel I'm gonna make this intro as short as possible this is a just constantly get the look video including hair makeup and outfits so this video is like three billion years long so let's get it on to the video so I'm first taking my Mac painterly paint pot in painterly and I'm taking my tart flat shaded brush putting that all over my lid up to my brow bone and then I'm taking my Tartlet in Bloom palette and I accidentally took the wrong shade I took smarty pants and I meant to take flower child but um yeah <laughs> so I'm taking the Real Techniques 200 brush and I'm just applying that all over my lid up to my brow bone and then I'm going in with my Anastasia brow Wiz brow definer sorry <laughs> in a dark brown and filling in my eyebrows so next i am taking smarty pants and jet setter with my sephora pro tapered crease brush and applying those two colors into my crease. And then I'm taking Firecracker with my Luxie 239 Precision Shader Brush and applying that all over my lid and just blending it out. So then I am taking Funny Girl and applying that to my brow bone for a brow bone highlight as well as on my lid because I noticed that the color that I use on the lid was a little too dark so I just put that to lighten it a little bit. And then from the Dream Street palette I took the shade Elfish because I felt like my brow bone highlight wasn't very strong so I went in a little bit with that and my brush was a little bit wet I forgot to show that though but I wet it a little bit with um max fix, fix plus next I'm taking my Ico skinny liquid eyeliner in black now I had to do my liquid eyeliner off camera because it was hard to do on camera don't mind me I was <laughs> just jamming out um, and I also did my tight line and my waterline off camera as well. Now, I don't know where the footage went for me applying my foundation, but I just acted like I was. And also, I lost the footage for my primer, but the primer I used was the Benefit Professional one. And for foundation, I used the Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation by Maybelline and it, the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And I mixed the two because one was a little bit too dark and one was a little bit too light. And I just applied it with a brush and then I went in with the Real Technique sponge to smooth it out. Now for concealer, I'm taking the Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer by CoverGirl and the L'Oreal Pro Glow Concealer. And I'm applying the CoverGirl one underneath my eyes to brighten my under eyes and then the L'Oreal one to apply around my nose and on any imperfections that I had that day and I blended them out with the Real Technique sponge. Next, I am going in with my Makeup Forever HD powder and I'm just applying that with a big fluffy brush 
and I'm applying it a little bit more heavier on my T-zone, which is my forehead, nose, and chin, because that's where I'm more oily, because I have combination skin, so I'm more oily in the T-zone, and I accidentally got too much, but I just applied it to my T-zone, and then I went very lightly on my cheeks where it's dry, because this powder and a lot of powders in general just accentuate my dryness on my cheeks, so I usually go lightly. Or I don't even use it, but for this video, I did. Next, I'm taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I'm taking the shades Subconscious and Shadow Play, and mixing the two with an angled brush by e.l.f. And I'm just applying it to my cheekbones, forehead, and jawline. taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Pate <laughs> and applying that to the apples of my cheeks. For highlight, I'm taking the Becca in collaboration with Jacqueline Hill. Now, I believe this palette was limited edition like around the holiday times but I believe you can still get the shades in individual packaging but I'm taking the shades pearl and champagne pop and I'm applying it on the tops of my cheekbones now I'm taking max fix plus because Jess and like almost all the photos that I've seen of her like I honestly I don't think there's a photo that she doesn't have a very intense highlight so to get that, I wet the brush with Max Fix Plus to intensify my highlight. And then I actually switch over to a different brush that was a little bit more condensed and not as fluffy as the other brush that I was using. Just to intensify it even more. I also apply the highlight to my cupid's bow and on the brow bone as well. And I use the same shades. I use pearl and champagne pop. Next, I am taking my NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Lace Detail, and I'm just applying it to my lips. This was the best color that it had closest to my natural color, because Jess usually does like a very soft, natural, like pink color. She uses one for MAC, but I didn't have that one, so this is the closest that I could get. So... Now, moving on to the hair, I am going to show you three different hairstyles from Just Conti. I feel like these are like her top three signature looks that I see her wear a lot of the times. And the first one that I see her wear a lot in like vlogs and some photos is the messy bun on the top. So all I'm doing is I'm pulling all my hair back like I would do a high ponytail and then twist it around and then because my hair would not stay I had to bobby pin it a few pieces and then also I just loosen the bun so it's not like very structured the messier the better <laughs> for this look and then 
like I said, it, it kept, like, falling back. It wasn't staying in the spot that I wanted to. So if that happens with you, you can just bobby pin it. What I did was I took two bobby pins and I crossed them to make an X so it stays in place a little bit better. And then all I did was I pulled out random pieces of strands of hair because, like I said, the messier the better. And just always, usually, if she ever has her hair up, she always pulls pieces down to frame her face. Now you can leave it by itself without any headband or anything, but a lot of the times I do see Jess wearing a bandana, but the bandana that I bought was too short to tie it on top. So instead, I had this headband from Air Apostle. It was when Bethany had a collection with them. I don't know if you still can get it, but it kind of looked like a bandana and how she usually wears it. So, yeah. So when I put the headband on, I accidentally pulled back all the pieces that I pulled out. So I just re-pulled those out. And yeah, but if you are interested, I will have a link down below in the description box where you can actually buy the actual bandana that Jess wears. But I'm not taking any credit to actually finding it or anything. There's an amazing Instagram account that I will have linked down below that is a style account for Jess Conti if you're interested. I highly recommend you guys check it out. For the second hairstyle, all I'm doing is I'm pulling all my hair back into a high ponytail. And I didn't realize until now while I'm editing this video that I missed a huge section in the back, but that's okay because I did fix it in the end. I just didn't show that on camera. But all I'm doing, like I said, is I'm pulling it all into a high ponytail and securing it with a hair tie. You can use an elastic if you want. And then I'm just pulling out pieces of hair to frame my face. Because like I said, just always pulls hair out to frame her face whenever she has her hair up. Now I had a hard time with it because I need a haircut really bad and I don't have a lot of baby hairs short like hers so I kind of struggled with it the first time around but you will see when we get into the outfit portion that I actually like fixed it and made it look better <laughs> so yeah for the third and last final hairstyle that I'm going to show you is very simple all I'm doing is I'm splitting my hair into two and doing pigtail braids. I'm just doing a regular three strand braid, nothing fancy or anything. And I'm just pulling the pieces in front of my face, not by the ear. Before I've been pulling by the ear as well, but this one I'm just pulling two little strands by my face and that is it. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but you see it in the video <laughs> what I mean. Now Jess usually accessorizes with a hat for this hairstyle or I've seen her wear her mini ears when she went to Disney so you can also wear a headband if you prefer or you can just leave it by itself. Either way. And I forgot to mention that when you do the braids be sure to pull on the sides to loosen it so it's not very tight. For outfit number one, my headband is from Disney, my bodysuit is from Forever 21, and my pants are from Love Culture, and I'm not sure where I got the shoes, but any white shoes will do, and yeah. For the second outfit, my shirt was originally a dress from Forever 21 that I cut into a crop top because I liked it better as a crop top than a dress honestly and then my pants are the same pants from love culture and my shoes are from love culture as well and for the last outfit everything that i'm wearing is from love culture this is not sponsored by love culture i just love their clothes honestly i always buy from them